Okay, so this is crazy. I uh, showed you all how Unlimited Terrain works a couple of weeks ago. It's a really easy way to generate a, a much more interesting starting map in just seconds. Just click until you generate a map that you like. So I gave you the macro and the prompts to do it all yourself, but as a reminder, if you don't want to put all the time into it, this entire system is available on my Patreon right now. I'll link to the release in the show description. Well, thanks to Adif, who is now helping in the development of Token Magic Effects, we've got two really cool new functions. First, we can now apply these terrains to any dimension of scene thanks to the new maintain aspect ratio value and maintain scale values. So just by adding these two lines of code to the existing macro, it no longer stretches your overlay image. So this means we can design rectangular or even very long scenes. Just set your scene dimensions to anything you want, then click the fit tile to scene macro. This is in nuts and bolts if you're looking for it. And make sure it's placed in the center and that's it. Just click away. So wouldn't this be great to have a party fight from one end to the other or let your ranged players leverage their advantages? Okay, so the second new feature is this. You can also make the overlay image scroll. Technically, this isn't a new feature, but with the advent of tileable AI generated images, like the ones that power the unlimited train system, you can now scroll those images. So just adding these lines of code, which I'll put in the comments, you can scroll your image. This is your overlay image that's scrolling, right? This is perfect for making chase scenes or travel scenes with wagons, boats, or airships. So let's drop in an airship. Now let's take our same scene and let's click this special little macro that I, I chose images and zoom levels for an airship, right? And just for a little extra spice, Let's also add the distance blur effect. This is in token magic effects. It's just a standard filter you can use. And now our background is faded and scrolling, right? So not only do we have unlimited terrains, but now we can move those terrains and really skilled macro people out there would also be able to make controls. For example, that automatically adjust the elevation of the airship and even the direction it flies, right? We're just moving in one direction, but we can move with the move function in multiple directions. So pretty cool, right? Well, anyway, that's it. I know it's a short video today. I hope you enjoyed this and you have fun making your maps.